So the plan for today was to take my little brother dorm shopping because he's heading to college in the fall. Y'all, these kids grow so fast. Like just yesterday, I was holding him as a baby. I was babysitting him because when he was born, I think I was like 13 or so. So I was old enough to help out. And I used to always uh, watch him <laughs> as a baby. And now he is off to college. Like excuse me <laughs> when did that happen i was supposed to take him dorm room shopping as my graduation gift to him because originally i wanted to take him to get some more professional clothes like if he has to go to a meeting if he has to go to an interview if he's going on a date like at a fancy restaurant you know some like more grown-up clothes so you know these teenagers they wear a lot of jeans and athletic wear or at least he does so <laughs> i wanted to get him some more um professional clothes and so i was like yeah let's go but he said he he's still growing he was like nah i'm still growing um it's probably not gonna fit in like you know a little bit so there's no point and so i was like, okay whatever next choice dorm room shopping let's go but he actually needs an outfit for the cookout tomorrow so instead we're still heading over to the mall i'm gonna get him an outfit and maybe some you know other clothes as well and then tomorrow before the cookout like in the morning we'll go to target and get everything for his dorm room to go to Zara. That's the first stop. Mm -hmm. Zara. Do you ever shop in H&M? Uh, H&M, not really. Okay, so. We can, we can get some joggers. You need, you need other things, not joggers. Not joggers, but like short shorts like this. That's athletic wear. Okay. But it goes with it, bro. It, it goes, it goes with that. We're gonna I'm go really to... looking for some jeans though. Okay, so we're gonna go to Zara then. Yeah. We're gonna go to Zara and then maybe we can stop by H and M. No, the ones you don't want. What about that one? I'm confused about these two. Now we're going to H and M. Uh, what do you want to do? Is that joggers? I don't want him to get any athletic wear because he has a lot of athletic wear. I want to get some regular clothes, but. It's soft, I thought it was not like. Yes, all your clothes are so. Oh, you have sweatpants and hoodies and stuff and t-shirts. That's athletic wear. So, anyways. We're gonna try, we're gonna see what's in there. But y'all, that Zara is terrible. My brother told me he doesn't like Zara. And I'm like, how do you not like Zara? Like there's nothing in there. So we go in there and there's literally nothing in there. And I'm just like, I've never seen a Zara like that. That's because like, I am used to Zara as I have two floors and I hold much of stuff in it. Like I was in Orlando in March when I was shopping for my husband and there were so many things. I bought so much stuff in the Zara. This one had nothing. So that's why I don't like it because this one doesn't have anything. He needs to go to Georgetown or to like, where else? Where else is the design? I can't remember. Why? I told my brother that he needs to have some cute shirts like this. It doesn't have to be exactly this, but he said it's the Haitian pick starter park, pack. Starter pack, yeah. The Haitian pick. Everybody has, I, I can look at the Haitian starter pack. You're gonna see that, that, that shirt right there.
class? What priority class? Girl, Which I one? Miss Moore's class. Were you in Miss Moore's class? Yeah, but that's not. I wasn't in that with you. I was with that with me the day. I wasn't okay. In that I thought we met in the tenth grade, but apparently, well, Chile, what allegedly, we were in the ninth grade then because we had the same classes. No, we didn't. Pre but pre IB started like in the tenth grade. No, it started in ninth grade. Okay, so we were in the IB program, and you had to take like pre IB courses. I I know we had a few. We didn't have a lot. No, we didn't have a lot. We didn't have a lot in the ninth grade. Where I knew you Oh, I didn't know. Yeah. I didn't. Oh, okay. Oh, we met in the night. Yeah, we did, but we didn't become friends into the tent. Okay, so we met My in the we met in the ninth grade. Yeah, let's go see her. Let's go see her. <laughs> she was not supposed to be the first one to have a baby. I was supposed to be the first one to have a baby, so now she has a baby. So we're gonna see her baby. I'm so excited. <laughs> yeah. I well, haven't you, met her you yet. You wanna wait? So. I, yeah. No, no, I know. I deliberately waited, but like you know when you're when you're yeah, in yeah, high yeah, school and yeah. you say you'll be first, you'll be first to get married, you'll be first da da da. Sherry was not the first one. She was actually supposed to be the last one. But she's the first one. <laughs> she's the first one. We got married a year apart, I feel. No, no two years apart. Oh, you three get, years apart. Yeah, like three years apart. Okay, yeah. Girl, I got married in 2020. Never mind, never mind, never mind. So it is two years. Yeah, okay, but two years it's apart. probably, like, it's probably still, like. <laughs> I feel so, like you got married way before I did. I know. I wasn't, I wasn't yeah. I'm surprised about. No, I was I was always the get married type. I just didn't want to. I just I just wasn't ready yet. <laughs> this girl was very picky. This girl what do you mean picky. I'm very picky? This girl was very picky, but she did find her prince in Nigeria. <laughs> she found her prince in Nigeria. You were the first person that I told so, about. Told uh, told that I talked to him. my husband about. Like you paid me no mind, but I was so serious. But she didn't want. To, she's like Sheree. She's like Sheree. I'll listen to you in like three months. Exactly. But you didn't think it seriously. Exactly. Because she met this guy and I'm just like, okay, but girl, I like your you attitude about just it. met him. Why, why are you so in love? But that's the same love? with you and Sammy, but it's okay. Why are you so in love? Like, I like that. I like the In the Nigeria, in Lagos or, was that Lagos or was it, a, it was Abuja? In Abuja. Abuja. Sammy and I are going, so I hope y'all are there at the same time. When are y'all going? Sammy, um, I don't know when, when the whole thing, you know. Exactly. You already know right. the story. You already know the story. So when that happens, okay. then we are going to be there. So. Because, you know, Sammy is Afrobeats king. I don't want to say that. I don't want the Nigerians to be like, no, he's not. But go to his channel and you will see why I said that. But, yeah, we have to go to Nigeria and we have to go to Ghana. So we're about to take some pictures out here um, by the rocks. No, Where are you trying to take the picture? Over there. over there. Is there water? No. By the pond? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's just by the greenery. Okay. So we're about to take some pictures real quick. Um, well, I'm taking pictures of her because y'all, I only brought a carry-on, so I didn't really have time to to really bring all these options. She's here dressed like a businesswoman <laughs> so, uh, or a mom. A business look woman. at her, look at her shoes. <laughs> she is just she's just like she's going to a, a Nigerian um, <laughs> a Nigerian business meeting. A Nigerian what? Business meeting. <laughs> This restaurant was absolutely amazing. It was my very first time going there. We went to the Annapolis, Maryland location. I didn't get a picture of everything, but let me tell y'all, everything tasted so good. Everything gets a 10 out of 10 down to the drinks. The service was good. Everyone was very nice. I would definitely go back there again. If you've been to Chart House before, please leave a comment down below and tell me what you think of the restaurant and also tell me what is your favorite thing on the menu so that I can try it when I go back there again. If you haven't been there and there's one that is close to you, give it a try. I don't think you will regret it.
so we're in Target right now. I'm with my little brother. <laughs> I don't know if y'all can see it. But um, we are about to buy everything for his dorm room. We have a list. And the first thing we're getting, um, I think we're getting all the bedding things. So like an extra long twin size bed, fitted sheet and the regular sheet, comforter and all that stuff. As well as this one. Just give me the warranty. You see? Yeah, you see. Okay, so we're gonna get him a small TV. So, wait, do we pass the TV? I feel like they're down um, here. Over on this wall, probably? Yeah. Okay, so TV time. How big is your TV at home? Uh, it might be 30. Oh, perfect. Okay, so it's 139. This is the TV that we're getting. I've had HP since I was in college. The same, the same um, printer, and it's and it's been working fine for me. Oh look, that one's on sale, sixty four ninety nine. Exactly. See. Okay. Perfect. So um, get the ink. Okay. No, but which one does it say? Yeah, I don't know. It's on here. It should show um, 67. You see it? You said 67? Mm -hmm. um, oh, God. oh, yeah. Okay. I don't know. This one doesn't look bad, but it is $8. It's just $8. Mm. Hmm. Where did you buy yours from? Oh, I cannot remember. It probably here. It was probably here, honestly. Cause this one is too. This one has a lot going on, but it does have all these things. But it's it's basically the same as the other one, with some extra stuff. Like I don't even think they'll use all this part. Yeah, cause it's just check to make sure there's nothing like <laughs> missing. Okay, so this is everything that we have so far. We got lots of, lots of things for his dorm. So there we go. We got lots of stuff. Little bro is on his way to college. much fun at the cookout i haven't seen my family since june of last year at my grandma's funeral so this is my dad's side of the family from tomazo so it was so great to see everyone all my cousins and then my big cousins like my dad's cousins but um <laughs> i don't know i call them my big cousins um but yeah it was so cool seeing everybody oh my gosh it was so much fun it's like 11 56 it's 11 56 and i need to pack because my flight is at 10 a.m i only brought a carry-on this is my very first time in my life only traveling with a carry-on my first time and i'm gonna do it again because it's so convenient i usually vlog when i'm back home in haiti but i thought y'all might want to see me you know here in the u.s as well so yeah anyways y'all i'll see you on the next one bye <laughs>